Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going over how to do outside corners when you only have a bench top wet saw. So I have a rigid model wet saw right here. It's a tabletop model um, and it's incredibly difficult to do outside corners when you have oblong style chair rail. You can see me here trying to figure out a way to do it. Um, the problem of it is, is even if I could figure out a way to keep it upright, the blade isn't even tall enough to cut all the way through it. Now normally I would use my other wet saw that comes from over the top of the tile and allows you to make a nice 45 cut from any angle. So. I decided to switch to the fracture table, but I had to figure out how to get my piece to lay flat. So I thought if I measured the thickness of it um, and then found a piece of wood the same thickness, I could build a cradle to keep the tile in. And so that's what I'm doing right now. It, this is basically just three quarter inch plywood happens to be the same thickness as the chair rail. So now I'm just putting a piece of plywood over the top of it to bridge it and that gives me a cradle to put the piece of tile in. I just screwed both sides down with some backer board screws. I mean any screws will work really. But what this does is it allows the tile to sit flat inside the cradle um, upside down. If you didn't have this cradle, it would be incredibly difficult to get your tile to sit level on the board, or sorry, on the uh, wet saw in order to do a 45 degree. Uh, it was a little difficult to get the tile to sit in there straight so I had to kind of hold it up against the cradle that I made and slide it just along that edge. Um, this was not an easy thing to do. Um, it would probably take somebody a decent amount of time to get this perfect this way but you can see this can be done effectively. Um, you just have to take more time as you pass through the blade so that you get a nice, flat, smooth edge uh, without chipping the ceramic glazing on the surface. So it worked out pretty well. And this is just basically cutting the other side with the same method. And again, you can see me kind of holding the cradle and the tile together. Um, it might be easier to maybe tape the tile into your cradle. Now, even though it is overall a 45 or a 90 degree angle, you can still kind of see a little bit of gappage going on down at the bottom so uh, I took it back over to the wet saw and kind of just slightly honed down the center of the tile that seemed to be where it was uh, sticking out um, causing that gap to happen now here I am honing the tile down um, the best way is to drag it like this if you try to saw back and forth um, like this, you'll actually end up chipping the ceramic coating. So you don't want to do that. It's a nice drag over the edge away from the coating. And there you have it, a nice clean edge. Um, if you want, you can actually epoxy these together and not round them off with a file, or you can grout them. Um, either way, it would probably look great. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are liking the content so far, consider subscribing to my channel. 
I've tried to put out a lot of videos on helpful tips and education on becoming a renovation pro. My name is Zach Galenzi and this is Relax and Renovate. I'll see you later. Bye.